This is Brett Moomy with Skipper Buds Yacht Sales. I'm gonna take you on a walkthrough of our 2021 Tierra Yachts 43 LE. This is one of the newest models in the outboard series by Tierra Yachts. Uh, we accented this boat in a white hull to help show off the well-designed hull windows here. Uh, they look great, but they also add ample light to the staterooms down below. Uh, you'll notice a standard bow thruster that comes on all these boats. Although they're joystick equipped, uh, that bow thruster is nice at the dock occasionally to be able to uh, get your bow over or help combat heavy current or heavy wind. Uh, wrapped in the front there is a standard stainless steel anchor, notable through stem, not a, dock, a top mount like you'll see in some competitors. And it's got a nice uh, blue accent painted hull stripe here that is paint, not gel coat. Uh, we'll move up top and I'll take you through the interior of this boat as well. You'll notice the fold down beach platform, uh, giving a lot of nice space for uh, swimming and, and enjoying the whole stern of the boat. Uh, this boat's equipped with triple 450 horsepower Mercury racing engines with a joystick uh, that comes standard with your Skyhook GPS uh, positioning hold as well as uh, the autopilot. This engine package will push this boat to about 58 miles an hour. That's tested with full fuel, full waste, full water, crew, and gear. So that is a, a good representation of speeds that you'd expect to see. Uh, this whole seat is on a turn. So there's an electric release that you can stop this seat in a, a location facing the beach swim platform or of course forward facing. Both foot rests are on a rapid system, so you can stop them at any spot that, that's comfortable for the rest or you pull all the way up. Uh, there's a pop-in table that mounts to this seat as well. That gets stowed under the engine compartment. There's a nice cover for it and a, a location to mount it on the back side of the engine compartment hatch. And always worth noting the amount of Corian that you'll see through these boats. The recessed cup holders, Corian base, as opposed to fiberglass gel coat. Uh, and you'll see that as kind of a standard moving throughout the rest of the boat. So let's move inside and show you the interior of this boat. There's location two, or location three. Again, in the back here, Corian countertops. You have a flip up for quick access or the whole hatch will raise. And this boat's optioned with the uh, Kenyan grill. Uh, that's a uh, notable grill. It's becoming standard or, or optional on most boats. Uh, with the lid, that grill will get uh, over 500 degrees. And uh, um, it's uh, 30 times stronger than a Teflon pan for uh, durability and cleaning purposes. Moving inward, two aft facing seats, storage under both, completely glassed out and finished with a drain, can be used as a cooler or dry storage. Again, Corian, stainless, stainless, uh, just kind of what you expect to see from Tierra. We have this particular boat option with the Seakeeper package you'll see forward here it has a Cummins diesel generator uh, which is extremely efficient and uh, quiet and then ample storage down below including uh, an automatic seacock for your generator so that will open to inlet water giving plenty of power underway or, or plenty of uh, cooling water and then automatically close when the generator is not in use and there's the table storage that I was mentioning. Moving in, we have storage on both sides, designated holders for your sink cover, solid teak. And then down below on both sides is refrigeration. 
Both of these seats can face aft to join the, uh, the group at rest. Or you can release to a normal forward facing position. Um, up top here, you'll see the lights that are cut into the fiberglass. Those are on a multi-control through the screens, uh, as well as the underwater lights. So you can change the color or the intensity of the lights. This is one of the very unique things with this model. Uh, the doors are on a slider here. So if you need to control your air a little bit better, or you want to get uh, zero engine noise, although those Mercury's are very quiet to begin with, you can close this door off and it's just like being inside a traditional coupe boat. I also neglected to mention the starboard boarding door, which great for boarding, swimming, again, making this boat very functional for all uses. Moving up to the helm, see a flip out step. Down below, give you a, a higher visibility line. This boat has very little bow rise to begin with, but uh, makes it a little bit easier in some circumstances. You have your bow thruster controls, your joystick. Uh, that's an excellent location as you can turn facing aft and still have control when you're backing into a slip. There's dual zone AC in the, the salon here. So starboard port, that way if you're running one side shaded, one side uh, in the sun, getting a little hotter, you can control the air for port and starboard. Uh, all these screens are interchangeable, so you can pull up whatever GPS maps, engine data, you have duplicate engine data up here. And then we option this package with controls, uh, the, the third screen, which uh, is especially nice for the co-pilot to be able to control stereo, um, or again, to get the light controls and, uh, and the other controls that come in this or help navigate through uh, the autopilot system or whatever else you may want. So on this lighting, you'll see that pop up and that'll uh, give you the different controls on all the interior accent lights, which you're seeing around the cup holders, over the top, there's an accent on the stern of the boat uh, above the Corian table. You can control all of those as well as the dim. Control your underwater lights here as well. So this screen just makes it a little bit easier for guests to, to play with. You have storage, locking glove box storage above. Again, solid surface, solid teak. Have your VHF controls, everything that you need. Up above, you'll see three glass panel windows here. This one's opening to let some fresh air in. You have a full sun block or a screen to block and let some light in, whichever you prefer. Moving down, it's worth noting that this is come standard with a built-in screen system as well for the cabin. And then you have your traditional door to lock and shut the, uh, the cabin off. Moving downstairs, you'll see solid wood plank floors. Again, solid teak uh, access down below, which uh, serves well as storage. This is a fairly large space in the boat. Notice the thickness of those floors and the, the how well Tierra over engineers their boats. Those large hall windows, especially out in natural daylight, will create quite a bit of, of light into the head, making it a little bit more comfortable. You have a full stand-up shower in here, which at six feet, I still have four inches or so of clearance, making it, you know, for a, a sport boat that's a crossover, it's, it's very comfortable and functional. Uh, there's a good amount of storage in this boat, storage down below. And again, worth noting the Corian, Corian base for the head, Corian kick plate entering the shower. You have Chili Witch wall coverings throughout the boat, so it's very durable. It's not going to have scratch or stain issues or moisture issues. We'll move into the mid berth and then I'll show 
the uh, the master off. So down here in the mid berth again, ample storage. This is a large hanging closet, maybe two and a half feet or so of depth. Large cubby storage, large drawer storage. Storage under the seats here as well. Again, you'll see the lighting accent underneath. And a very large bed with a, uh, a nice headboard accent there, built all in-house by Tierra. Moving forward. Again, you have storage here behind the TV. You'll find the power panel for the boat. Just like most Tierras, ample storage under the bed. Again, a minor thing, but the detail on the headboard is something you don't typically see on this size or style boat. Again, all done custom in-house by Tierra Yachts. Nice reading lights on either side for both guests. Find a microwave built in. Again, additional hanging storage and then a curtain for privacy if you do have uh, other guests on the boat. Again, this is Brett Boomy with Skipper Buds Yacht Sales. This is one of a couple of uh, 43LE uh, models that we were able to, to get from the factory as production sold out into uh, basically 2022 now. So give us a call, set up a showing, and come see this beautiful boat.